Having a problem in the heart is not something anyone should mess around with. And knowing what a normal heart rate is and what a not so normal heart rate is, is very important. That's why today I will be showing you guys how to take a pulse. I will be going over why it's so important to take a pulse, the different body parts you can find a pulse, and lastly, I will be physically showing you how to take a pulse. Now, as we get started, you all may be wondering, why should I even care about taking a pulse? And the big reason is, according to hotline.com, in America, there are 30.3 million people who have heart disease as of 2018. You should all know what a normal heart rate is. A normal heart rate should go from 60 to 100 beats per minute. If your heart rate is under 60 beats per minute, that should be a red flag. That is considered a condition called bradycardia. What bradycardia is, it is a slower than normal heart rate. Now, the reason why you should be worried is because according to cedarssinai.org, this can be life-threatening if the heart is unable to maintain a rate that pumps enough oxygenated blood throughout the body. Now, on the other hand, having a heart rate over 100 is also a very big concern. According, this is considered tachycardia, and tachycardia is when your heart rate's over 100. According to my medical terminology book provided by Patty Pettit, some people with tachycardia have an increased risk of a, developing a blood clot that could cause a stroke or could lead to a heart attack. This, we all know that heart attacks and heart problems are one of the biggest killers in the world. According to the CDC, every 36 seconds, someone dies from some type of heart problem. Now, as we get pumped up to learn all the different body parts, you can find a pulse. It may be surprising to everyone, but there are actually a lot of body parts you can find a pulse. According to Britannica.com, you can find a pulse in one of the following locations. You can find it at the point in the wrist where the radial artery approaches the surface. You can find it at the side of the lower jaw where the facial artery crosses it. You can find it at the temple above to the side of the uh, the outer side of the eye where the temporal artery is near the surface. You can find it on the side of your neck, on the side of the bicep from the branchial artery, in the groin from the femur femur femoral artery, behind the knee from the pop literal artery, and then on the upper side of the foot from the dorsals pedis artery. Now I'm gonna assume most of you have no idea what those words mean, unless you've taken a biology class, anatomy class, or you've watched some form of Grey's Anatomy, because I'm sure you've heard those words on there before. But I decided to make it simpler for everyone. You could, the best places you can find a pulse is on the wrist, on the inner side of your elbow, on the neck, and then on top of the foot. But for today specifically, I will be showing you how to find a pulse on the wrist and the neck. Now, when you have find a pulse on the wrist, you're going to want to look for the thumb and the uh, actual wrist, and it's on the side of the thumb. Now, a lot of people assume that you're going to find the pulse on the vein, coming from the fact that blood is always rushing through. That's incorrect. We do it on the artery because, according to Victoria College, because of the pressure walls on the artery, it's uh, thicker in, than the veins, which you can physically feel the pumping of the pulse. When you do take a pulse, you need to have some type of watch with you because you're going to take that pulse for one full minute. Um, and then you're going to watch the clock. You're going to have to multitask because you're going to be looking at the clock and counting. And you want to make sure it's accurate for that full minute. Now, on the neck, it's going to be like right between the jaw. And it's a lot harder to find it on the neck because there's a lot of nerves and muscles and that you can feel every time the person swallows. So you're going to also do the same thing, which is take the pulse for a full minute. I just recommend the wrist and make sure it's on that artery on the side. As a result of today, you should know how to be able to take a pulse. Oh, shoot. Panic. <laughs> this is beneficial to society to know how to take a pulse because you could potentially be saving someone's life with this. Now, as a result of today, you should know how to take a pulse. You now understand why it's so important to take a pulse. You know all of the body parts you can take a pulse, and you should know how to physically take a pulse. Now, at the end of the day, you should, if someone's feeling sick or weird, 
take their pulse because you could potentially be saving their lives. Thank you.